desperate to cross the police blockade. Amanda Gonzalez drags her belongings under the scorching sun of the Atacama Desert. Her small children, Jorge and Jesus, rush behind. They've tried to enter Peru for five days. We are forced to do this, trying to enter Peru this way because back there no one is giving us a solution. They just say no because you don't have a visa. Police have blocked the way, bringing fierce exchanges. Dozens of families, migrants mainly from Venezuela and Haiti, have been stranded for days between Peru and Chile's borders. Tensions have been rising for days. Mothers frustrated their children are being forced to sleep outdoors. They've had some food and water, but no answers. Where's the president? Where's the United Nations? Where's solidarity? It's only blah, blah, blah. These migrants are in a limbo. They can't enter Peru or go back to Chile. For now, the only option for these migrants is to venture into the desert at night, but they have to walk more than 60 kilometers to reach the regional capital. It's a near impossible situation, especially for the children. On Wednesday, Peru's president, Dina Boluarte, passed measures to send more military to its borders. Boluarte blames migrants for a crime wave in Peru. Unfortunately, they are the ones committing the crimes. The government says foreigners already living in the country will have six months to get legal status. Nearly 1.3 million Venezuelans have migrated to Peru, escaping poverty and lack of opportunities back home. Tens of hundreds are now escaping harsh measures to detain the undocumented in Chile, hoping to join them. These migrants say all they want is safe passage to reach their own countries. The United Nations says the crisis is growing. They are poor, hungry, vulnerable in no man's land, and rapidly losing hope for a prompt solution. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, Tacna.